Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Gerbil. In today's video, I want to talk about mods and give you some of my tips and tricks with managing an, a batch upgrading, filtering, and getting rid of unnecessary mods. And this video was very much inspired by a recent battle I had in my 3v3 alt account. And I'm going to show the video where uh, three Relic 7 Siths, including Palpatine and Vader, got absolutely destroyed by my Gear 12 CLS, and that should not have happened. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. For you longtime mod experts out there, you probably just want to skip ahead to the filters. The the rest of this may not be as as of much value for you, but of course you're welcome to watch it anyway. Timestamp is down below for each of these four sections. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please give me that like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And once again, thanks for tuning in because you do have choices in your Star Wars Galaxy Heroes news. All right, here we go. Uh, first up, why mods matter? So this is the team I ran into in my 3v3 alt account. So you can see, first off, we've got Sidious lead, which was a mistake, but I mean, come on, we've got three Relic 7 characters versus three Gear 12. I should have had no chance at this, uh, but let's let's watch the battle, shall we? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and join into the fight. And of course, Han's gonna shoot first. So we're gonna go ahead and probably stun down Vader. Got him, nice. And um, now we're gonna strip away some turn meter. And take it, whack, got the turn meter, goodbye. We're gonna stun down Sidious. We're gonna take out Sidious in just a second. Three, two, one, he's gone. Now we're gonna try to put some speed down, success. Strip away some turn meter, fail. We're gonna stun, got it. And he whiffed on that, no potency there. Potency matters. And we got another stun, tenacity matters, and the win. There was no, 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 no justification for me winning that match. All right, so here's why. This, this was my opponent's Vader mod set. And I'm not trying to diss on my opponent, I'm not. I'm trying to say that my opponent has made some very, very poor choices here in terms of their mod upgrades. And mods are the only, the only thing you can truly distinguish your character's abilities apart from an opponent's. In a mirror match, the better mods are most often going to win. And of course, as you just saw, even with seven relic levels on top of me and much, much better mod upgrades, their mods are still absolutely atrocious relative. So why? This this Vader should have gone first and won. So I couldn't reproduce this, of course, but I found a similar example, and here's how it should have gone. Vader should have gone first, force crushed, got into Merciless Massacre, said delete on Chewbacca, delete on Han Solo, delete on CLS. This is the way it is supposed to go. Uh, with Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader, if your opponents get a turn, you have probably modded wrong, <laughs> or I don't know. I mean, it maybe it, it just depends, of course, on what you're battling, but that's what it should have looked like. All right, so um, super fast rundown. There are six mods, of course, as you know. They are generally referred to by their shape, not these horrible names over there. Each mod has a primary set and a secondary set. The secondary sets can be upgraded a total of five times, you get a total of eight rolls to upgrade those. Secondary and primary sets cannot have the same stat, just FYI. If you got protection, for example, protection percentage, you cannot have a protection percentage in the secondary. So if you've been looking or hunting for one of those, good luck, you can't find that. Now, why, why does this make, like, why is it so important to know how to mod these? Well, <laughs> there are 10 tiers of mods, there are six dots, and there are levels of them, and they all have different abilities. And taking a mod from its lowest tier, um, the, which you can see top left here, is the silver mod, to the gold gold bottom right where Vader is, is incredibly expensive. The process requires an enormous amount of credits and other upgrading materials, and generally takes a very, very long time. So upgrading these mods with it, without being the, without a quality uh, set of stats on them just takes both time, resources, 
and all but ensures you're not actually going to improve your characters. So when you are rolling your mods, when you are upgrading them, you pretty much always want to look for the mods that carry the best bang for the buck, the best utility for your characters, and you want speed. You also, as I said before, have a maximum of five rolls per mod set, or per mod stat. So in this case, this mod has 27 speed for Darth Vader. That is um, the maximum that is going to roll. Uh, you can actually get higher if you are just, you know, have the luck of God on your side. But once you hit five on speed, generally you want to stop upgrading that mod almost no matter what and move on to somebody else. So after you upgrade all your mods, though, you do have a chance to re-roll them. So if you have upgraded something accidentally or poorly or you're just really hopeful, there is a way to re-roll those secondary stats called calibration using attenuators, which are also rather difficult to come by in the long run and it gets prohibitively expensive the first reroll is not too bad at 15 attenuators but by the time you try to reroll it four or five times it's just prohibitively expensive I can't imagine anybody but whales ever doing this I have never rolled past the third attempt at 40 and every time I've hit that 40 I just feel really bad for even trying it so what makes a good mod what makes a good mod? Well, first off if it doesn't have speed, it's almost trash. There are only a very handful of niche circumstances where a mod without speed is good. This one, my opponent upgraded it to a six dot uh, blue mod and it just it just makes me feel a little sad. Yes, it has high crit chance, it has high offense at 150, but um, no, this mod is trash. Why? Plus 150 offense sounds good, but in reality, it's not. Percentages are almost always better than fixed amounts. Here's a quick example. Admiral Raddus has plus 7.7% health. That equates to 3,421 health, whereas a five roll health mod below on Palpatine has plus 1966 health. So that's about 60% of the health, even though it's the same number of rolls. Now, yes, there's an argument to be made that if your character has very, very, very low base health, then a, a fixed amount is better. But that's like, again, such a niche that you just don't even really want to consider it. So percentage mods are better than fixed value mods. And if it has no speed, just trash it. Also, you need to know your characters. And this is what makes modding really tricky. There are a few characters like General Grievous that are insanely challenging to mod if you don't read the kit. Most people tend to put offense on him and that is absolutely wasted. General Grievous's damage output is entirely based on his health pool, not his offense attack value. So the more health you can put on him, the more damage he will do. Many people who know this and know this well, even put health primaries on the speed and critical critical damage on the triangle because critical damage is not based on offense it's based on the amount of damage you do so if you maximize the health then you are maximizing his damage and then if you land a crit on those hits then the critical damage mod is quite effective at the same time some characters do want offense. So this is my Darth Vader, and you can see he has a lot of speed, 25, for example, on the diamond, 20 on the square, 21 on the triangle. He has a lot of potency for those force crush ability blocks on his basic. He has high crit chance, and he has a lot of extra offense just to land as much damage as possible. This is what enables him to go first with the high speed and then Palp's leadership, and then just lay down the lodge dropping everyone in one hit when things go well. Okay, this is my mods overall. As of a few days ago, you can see I have 431 six dot mods. My top 25 mods average 26.16 speed, which is pretty solid. My top 500 mods average 17 plus 17 speed. So I do spend a lot of time and my teams are fast way faster than my average opponent in GAC, which is how I have historically been able to beat people who tend to have two to three million GA, uh, GP above me uh, for the last two years, it seems. 
Um, yeah, so I, I know a little bit about it. So now the pro tips. How do you, how do I manage my mods? Well, I have seven basic filters that I use pretty frequently. And this is the first one. I've done a bunch of screenshots and tried to highlight them. So feel free to take a screenshot or a photo of this and uh, use it if it helps you. First mod filter I really appreciate is a new speed filter. Basically, this is looking for any mod that has a secondary speed value that in and that um, the level of the mod is one. This is important because that's how you differentiate the new mods, mods you recently farmed or received as a as a reward in some event, and then I sort them by speed. Now, the reason I like this is because when I apply it and I go into um, the results, I can see all of the mods that are again level one that have speed. Now I could click the manage mod button in the bottom right and batch upgrade them, but if you do that, I don't get the satisfaction of seeing each individual speed result because they are filtered by level one, they will immediately be pushed out of here and I don't see the results. Also, I like to roll my new mods individually. This is just my personal preference. I like to mod roll these individually so that I can see in real time that individual outcome and I can go, uh, yeah, no, that's trash and then just delete it. Or if I get lucky and I see like plus 20 speed, I'm like, woo, I know exactly where to put that right then and there, right? So unfortunately, most of them, I just hit sell right here and then I just move on. So we'll see one more. Here we go. We got, we got, uh, look at that maximum potency, 7.6% potency. Now this has a lot of tempting value to it, but at only plus four speed, I'm like, yeah, now nah, we're just going to get rid of that and move on. All right. So here's the next one at my level of the game. And of course at everybody's some point in the game, you're going to want to upgrade your five to six dot mods. Now this takes a lot of resources. So you want to do it very, uh, cautiously. So again, what I do is I filter for speed and I want to see all of my mods that have at least already three speed rolls. Anything under three rolls, like no, just save your resources for a mod that's got at least three rolls to go with. And then of course you can only take a Mark V A, the gold mod up. So we want that and then we sort them by speed. So when we do that, here's what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and hit filter. Uh, we got speed, at least three rolls, and here they are. So top left will be our fastest. I've got a Malik Circle mod there with 24 speed, ready to upgrade that one when I feel like it. And if I scroll down to the very bottom of the screen, you can see all of these Mark V gold mods. The slowest one is 10. Any gold mod below 10, I pretty much just, I liquidated almost immediately. So I'm not going to upgrade any of these as I currently don't have the resources, but if I did, I would know immediately where I want to go. And if I click on one of these mod sets, the square triangle, whatever, it will automatically filter it in that uh, screen. So you don't have to worry about selecting a, a slot type when you're actually building your filter. All right. The next one is you're probably saying, yeah, but that view didn't show the arrows. That's right. Because arrows, I typically sell any of them that do not have speed primaries because of territory battle three, I am looking for some crit avoidance and some accuracy arrows, which just blows my mind. But typically I will not upgrade an arrow mod unless it is speed primary or tends to have about 20 plus speed on the secondary. So what I want to do here is I want to keep the same filter, Mark V A speed uh, sort, but also now with a speed primary. Only arrows can have speed primaries, so I don't have to worry about the slot type up above. And again, here's what that's going to look like. We're going to hit filter and there are all the arrows. Now, if you don't want to sort these by speed in this screen, it's fine. There is a filter button already up there. You can filter it for whatever you want, say protection. And there's the top protection mod with whatever that was or a protection percentage or offense or whatever. So this is a great way to find all of those uh, arrow mods that you are ready to go ahead and upgrade to six dot big benefit of upgrading a speed primary arrow is that you immediately get two speed out of it. It's not much, but makes a difference at the highly competitive levels. Next up, we've got slicing. Slicing is the process of upgrading your mark six mods. So when a mod you, you've, you've already gone through all the mark five D E C B A. Now you've taken it to mark six. You're ready to start rolling. Uh, once again through the expensive upgrade farm process. So in this case, 
when you're when you're slicing a mod, which is their term for upgrading it, you cannot slice a Mark VI gold. So there's no point in including those in the filter. And once again, I only want to see mods that have at least three speed secondaries. This helps ensure that I'm not wasting resources by accidentally clicking on a mod that has like four speed total and upgrading it because that's just a gamble and unlikely to result in anything that's worth having. So here we go. Let's hit filter. Go, go, go. There we are. And so we can see our fastest one is a purple here on First Order Officer. We got 21 speed on it. And uh, once again, as we go down, we will get mods that are less and less. Let's go ahead and try to upgrade this one so you can see how much resources, ouch, that takes. This takes a long time to farm these. And we're going to slice it. And woof, we got protection. I wanted to try and hit 27 speed. That's okay. I will probably try to calibrate that for a reroll. Once again, what's calibrating? It's rerolling a secondary mod stat. And in this situation, I'm quite cautious about these because again, you need attenuators and those are again, a little bit difficult to farm. It takes a long time. And when you have over a thousand mods, woof, does that just add up? So what I want in this case is I only want to see mods that are Mark 6A. I sort them by speed. And this time I've changed the speed subs uh, filter settings to only show me mods that have less than five speed because it, uh, five rolls because of course you cannot upgrade past that so I don't want to waste time clicking and clicking and clicking I only want to see my mods that have uh, one two three four speed rolls and because they're sorted by speed I don't really care about scrolling down I'm mostly just gonna look at the top few rows of this to find the mods that are already the fastest that I could hopefully reroll to make even faster so here's a Palpatine mod, it's got 20 speed, but I've already tried to calibrate it, which means I need more than I have. Um, just not gonna worry about that. So let's find one, a six dot mod, gold a should has it has six opportunities for calibration and again each time you do it it gets more expensive so i'm looking for one that hasn't been calibrated yet i think we're going to go with this cara dune down here there's the first order officer see i've already calibrated it once i don't have 25 attenuators so we're going to go to the cara dune she's got 20 we're going to hope for a speed roll make it 26 speed she wants potency, but those are also really, really, really bad potency values. So I would try to re-roll it, and I'm just not going to. Eh, moving on, right? Uh, next up, time to clear out the garbage, right? This is my favorite filter, actually, and it's very easy. Just click on the mark one through four button and press go. Why? What this will do is it will show you every mod that has a one, two, three, or four dot value. And you're just gonna select all in the manage and then just delete, right? Sell those. They're worthless. Do not use a Mark 1234 mod, people. Please do not use a Mark 1234 mod. They should not even be in the game. They are just worthless. Um, so, yeah, sell those. Next up, selling all non arrow mods without speed secondaries. Um, this means like, you know, if you got a square and has no speed or a diamond and no speed, circle, no speed. So what you want to do is select all of the slots at the top, except for the arrow. Then you want to click on speed, no speed. Now, why take out the arrow? Because if you don't, if you don't take out that arrow, you will accidentally sell all of your speed primary arrows. Do not do that. So do make sure you do not check the arrow. Do not show any arrows then no speed secondaries. And you also wanna set your, your values to at least three. Uh, you can go higher if you want, but the reason I set to at least three is to make sure that I do not sell any purple mods. Um, if I accidentally sell my blues and greens, I really don't care, but that's just me and the level I'm at in the game. So I also only do this after I've upgraded all of my mods. And I'll show you a bonus tip on how to do that in just a second. So here you can see I've selected this filter. None of these mods, there's 46 of them. None of them have speed. Sell them all, half million credits. Thank you very much, CG, and we move on. So here's a bonus filter and it's super duper easy. You just scroll to the bottom, you just click on Mark V and then the color of your choice. I'm gonna go with a purple and we can see it shows me every Mark V purple mod I got. So I'm going to modify the filter. I'm gonna get rid of all the equipped mods at the top. So these are only my unequipped mods. I'm gonna go to manage. 
I'm gonna sort them by speed, which you don't have to do. I just like to, because what this will do is put all of my non-upgraded mods at the bottom. So here's all my level one mods at the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit select all, and I'm gonna upgrade all of them to level three. That's gonna roll that, that fourth secondary stat option. And we can see at a bunch of them, no speed. Next, I'm gonna go back to the filter and I'm gonna repeat this process. Once you've already set it up, I'm gonna, it's fast. I'm just gonna repeat it for blues. Select all, upgrade to level six so that I get those missing two rolls. Then I'm gonna to go to my greens and I'm gonna upgrade those all to level nine. And this does take a lot of credits, so be cautious. And there they are. Now that I've got all of those upgraded, now I go back to my sell no speed, select all, and sell. Right, and this this guarantees you just get rid of all those mods that had no speed. Anyway, folks, I hope this was helpful. I really do. This video took a very, very, very long time for me to process and think about how I want to present it and organize it. So give me a like and sub down below. Sincerely, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you around on the hall tables. All right, bye bye.